rice, a staple food in Nigeria. But since it's banned by the federal government for Nigerians to purchase homegrown products, health-related and other reasons, economic saboteurs have continued to smuggle rice and other uncustomed items through illegal border routes and waterways. The Federal Operations Unit, Zone A, is one of the combat units of the service. It carries out checks across borders and seaports, checkmating on custom goods that escape the eye of gatekeepers. The rains are here. One of the unit's major challenge lingers, lack of storage for seized goods. The reason, therefore, some of the seized perishable items litters every available space within the office complex and their means of conveyance. It is worrisome that these days in Nigeria, criminalities are being taken through the use of motorcycles. Aside from bandits using motorcycles, smugglers now devise means of using motorcycles to ferry their items. And most importantly, you see that the arrest is always being done right inside the thick bush, where no one can see them. We take fight into their den, and that is the result you are seeing behind me. On the other side of the storyard lies two other notable seized items. Over 2,600 cartons of imported female slippers were seized in a storage facility, while this container, laden with aluminium profile, intercepted along Mao 2 axis. Semar section 46 is sacrosanct. It says any false declaration is susceptible to seizure, and we are going to seize this item. So investigation is still ongoing, but it is important we make this abundantly clear that we will not allow a situation where a group of people want to shortchange the country. The unit declares that 12 of their cases are in court in Oyo, Ogun and Lagos State. Nine of its suspects are currently under investigation and others are on administrative bail.